Located in the subtropics, Taiwan is blessed with long days and lots of solar radiation. It's also home to the world's second largest solar cell manufacturing industry. That's why solar is top priority in the government's green energy plan. Earlier this year, the cabinet approved the ambitious target of having 20 percent of Taiwan's energy come from green sources by 2025. Solar is supposed to play the lead role, but just how viable is the plan to power Taiwan on sunshine? In Yunlin, Jiayi and Tainan, solar panels are a common sight particularly in Yunlin, which receives the most hours of sunshine of any county in Taiwan. This section of Taishi and Yunlin has a serious problem with land subsidence. There's also severe overdraft of groundwater, and as a result, the soil has become extremely saline and has not been farmed for many years. The government opened up this zone in the first phase, allowing us to build solar power stations here. The Council of Agriculture redesignated 1,253 hectares of poor farmland in 2015 allowing green energy developers to rent out the land as part of the Bureau of Energy's solar program. So far, it's proved a good way for landowners to turn dry land into the green stuff. But it hasn't got Taiwan much closer to its goal of 20 gigawatts of solar capacity by 2025. To generate one megawatt of solar power, you need about one hectare of land. Now one gigawatt is 1,000 megawatts. So if you want one gigawatt, you need 1,000 hectares. If you want 20 gigawatts, you need 20,000 hectares. It would be quite a feat to find the equivalent of 800 Dan forest parks going spare on the small, densely populated island of Taiwan. There were 1,253 hectares listed in 2015, and since then, they haven't added a single hectare to the list. In the next stage of its solar plan, the Bureau of Energy wants to bring floating or ground-mounted solar panels to salt fields, detention basins and ponds. But the plan is not without detractors. It pits the need for sustainable energy against ecological conservation. There's flexibility in where you install photovoltaic systems, but the ecosystem of a species like the black-faced boonbill is less flexible. With one false move, we could drive the birds away forever. A lack of suitable land has caused an impasse for the growth of solar. But a simpler solution is nearer than you might think. In fact, it's just above your head.